This is Mighty Military, and today we're looking at one of the most important breakthroughs in Japan's modern defense history. Japan has begun live sea trials of a brand new 100 kilowatt class laser weapon system, a directed energy platform designed to shoot down drones, UAVs, and even incoming mortar rounds. This system represents more than 10 years of Japanese research into high-energy laser defense, and for the first time, it is now being tested at sea on a military vessel. The weapon is mounted aboard the Maritime Self-Defense Forces test ship Asuka, where engineers from Japan's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency, ATLA, are preparing it for final maritime evaluations. According to officials, this laser system is the product of ATLA's Electronic Warfare Integration Office, and its purpose is simple. Intercept small, fast, and dangerous airborne threats before they get close. Earlier this year, during land-based trials, the high-energy laser successfully destroyed flying drones and even live mortar rounds. Those results cleared the path for installing the weapon on a naval platform to see how it performs in real ocean conditions. Now, the focus is on proving whether the system can detect, track, and fire with precision while the ship itself is moving, vibrating, and rolling in the waves. The weapon is housed in two container-sized modules, each about the size of a standard 40-foot shipping container. Inside these modules are the fiber laser array, the beam control optics, the power systems, and the cooling units. Atlas says the system combines 10 domestically produced 10-kilowatt fiber lasers into a single, unified beam that exceeds 100 kilowatts. This is the type of power level needed to melt through small drones and disable airborne threats within seconds. One of the biggest advantages highlighted by officials is the system's unlimited magazine. Unlike missiles, the laser doesn't need physical ammunition. As long as the ship can supply electrical power, the system can keep firing again and again. The cost per shot is extremely low, basically just the price of electricity, making it ideal for defending against swarms of cheap drones or loitering munitions, which are becoming more common in modern conflicts. During sea trials, engineers will test whether the system can maintain beam stability on fast-moving targets despite wind, waves, and ship movement. High-speed mirrors, thermal imaging sensors, and precision tracking systems all work together to keep the laser locked onto the target long enough to burn through it. Japan plans to follow these initial detection and tracking trials with real interception tests over water in 2026. Photos from the shipyard already show the dome-shaped beam director installed on the rear deck of the Asuka, fully connected to the ship's internal power and cooling systems. The Asuka has always been a platform for experimental naval technologies, and this laser system is its latest mission. Japan's work with laser weapons has evolved significantly over the last decade. They moved away from older chemical laser technologies and committed fully to fiber lasers, which are safer, more scalable, and more efficient. Starting with 50 kilowatt systems and now testing 100 kilowatt power levels, Japan is steadily improving its ability to counter UAVs and indirect fire threats. While officials admit that future higher-powered lasers could eventually take on missile defense roles, that remains a long-term goal. Around the world, militaries are racing to adopt directed energy weapons as the drone threat grows rapidly. Lasers offer near-instant engagement, low operating cost, and effectively infinite ammunition. Japan's investment in lasers, railguns, and other advanced technologies is a clear sign of its intent to modernize its defense forces amid rising regional tensions. If the trials aboard the Asuka succeed, Japan could soon deploy operational ship-based laser defenses capable of protecting destroyers, patrol vessels, and critical maritime infrastructure.
This is a major step in Japan's journey toward a next-generation layered defense system, one built not only on missiles and guns, but on pure energy. This is Mighty Military. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more deep dive coverage on the world's most advanced military technologies.